It's all over the headlines. White celebrities accused of borrowing black culture. Taylor Swift had to shake it off when this video got haters hating. Talk show host Wendy Williams says it's nothing new. White people take this in the best way. Some of you have been appropriating my people's culture longer than many of us have been alive. We're at Easy Pickens in Orange, New Jersey. How will customers take it when our saleswoman, Giselle, finds nothing funny about Alyssa's choice in clothing? Excuse me? Yeah? Do you have this in another color? Are you buying that as a gift? No, it's for me. I'm sorry, we don't have that in white. White? What's that supposed to mean? That means I don't sell to white girls who are pretending to be black. You're out shopping when you notice a saleswoman giving a customer a hard time simply because of her choice in fashion. It's a confrontation that's pretty black and white. Hmm. What would you do? What's your problem with me? <laughs> Honey, look in the mirror. Look at how you're dressed. That's your style? Yeah, you guys have so many cute things, like just my style here. It just looks like a little off. I don't think so. I think it might look like you're kind of pretending. Pretending? Well, that quickly catches this customer's attention. I'm sorry, what's your, what are your, your role is here? I work here. OK, so she's asking you to provide her a service. But if she's asking for an opinion, this is her style. If Iggy came in here asking for help, what you're supposed to do is just do it. Yep, that's right. She's talking about Iggy Azalea. She's got cornrows in her hair. So what? It's cute. <laughs> And now Giselle questions what she's actually defending. So you're defending the white girl? There you go. How dare you? Honestly, what a, put that down. Go somewhere else. Put that down. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else where you're going to receive the proper help. Because what she's doing is disrespectful and rude. Thank you. Before Dora goes somewhere else, it's time to tell her it's what would you do? You actually took her dress and threw it up. <laughs> and said, don't buy it here. Yeah, she don't did. buy it here because you're spending your money just like anyone else in this store for you to come across here and say that she's dressing black. What is dressing black? I didn't know that we had a color for our dress. It's just disrespectful. Throughout the day... You should probably hang that up. Not everyone supports Alyssa's sense of style. This is my style. Oh, I'm going to tell you yes. what you really look like. Like, I'm you going look like Eminem. I look like Eminem. <laughs> It's how I've always dressed. I don't see. Oh, that's how the way you are dressed? Yeah. This woman even offers Alyssa some pointed guidance on what not to wear. It has prints. That's why like, I thought that top would look so cute, like the matching set with like these sneakers. No, we don't wear that. I think it looks nicer on her. It looks nicer on her. Okay. And some other customers advise Alyssa on how to deal with those haters. I just can't believe she was saying that stuff to me. I don't let anyone ever make you change who you are. If it makes you happy dressing all you make, it. Yeah. It's 2015. <laughs> now Alyssa's back shopping for clothes. I think it's cute. Right away, Giselle makes it clear she finds Alyssa's choices an uncomfortable fit. Are you trying to be black? This man is shocked, and he wastes no time. Look at how you dress. Look at dressing the down Giselle. I just think oh, no, it's that's cute. Not right. What do you mean? I'm just saying what everybody in the store is thinking. I'm sure it's cute. That's She's not an expert cute. opinion. That's it. Don't we have enough problems without fighting over clothes? We have enough problems. You, you don't. No, but that's not right. That's not how you talk to people. <laughs> She's a customer. You're supposed to satisfy a customer. If she asks you your opinion about something, that's all you have to do. It's not a black and white race thing. I'm not trying to be offensive. I just thought she should know that she looks like she's pretending. No, but she's not pretending. How you gonna tell somebody that? Just how you look. You look a mess. I could have said that, but then you would have felt bad. I'm just saying. So you standing up for the white girl and bashing me? I'm not standing up for no one. I'm just saying what was right and wrong. And at, at this point, you're very wrong. All right, we should break it. Time to make this right and tell Jabbar it's what would you do? I'm going to take that! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was good. That I did was, very good. You did very well. 
Oh, wow. What was going through your mind? I just felt as though it was wrong for her to say that, like, she's white, we're black, it's too much chaos going on. That's her style. I think that's how she wanted to dress. We reset the scene. And now Giselle is at it one last time. You want to buy that? Is that your style? Yeah, totally is my style. Shannon Stevens totally agrees. Go for it. <laughs> See? <laughs> It'll rock. Yeah. I think so, too. I think so, three. <laughs> but don't you think she's trying to look black? That comment leaves Shannon speechless, but not for long. Never tell a customer no. Even if you think no, it's always yes. You hear me? So we're gonna tell her how fabulous she's gonna look in this outfit. But look at her. No. Look at her. Look at her. She's, but she's white. What the hell does that mean? We don't see color. It's 2015. Thank so, you. No, you never say that. Ever. But Giselle is not ready to take that advice. Thank but they're you. trying to take away our style, and no, I just think they're... Hey, don't say that. You can't say that. You really owe for an apology. Instead of an apology, Giselle argues it's us versus them. Don't white people do this to us all oh the time? It doesn't make a difference, because at the end of the day, we're all sisters. Like, I'm... I got to compose myself. Give me a second. But you really do owe her an apology. She shouldn't do it to you, and you, you shouldn't do it to her either. I'm serious. I'm so serious right now. I can't believe y'all got me. <laughs> How did this happen to me? You're in tears. I am, because that is wrong. You don't do that to anyone. No matter whether they're black or white. I don't or... care what color she is. She is a sister at the end of the day. I'm sorry. Why is it important to speak up for someone else? If something is wrong, you should speak on it, because if you let it go past, then someone might think it's all right. Simple as that, huh?